Hey guys, DW Rugs here, back again with another video, and I'm very excited for this video because I am making a rug for one of my favorite YouTubers, Doug DeMiro. Doug is a car enthusiast and does excellent car reviews and is also one of the most genuinely nicest people I've ever met. I had the pleasure of meeting him at Cars and Coffee in Rancho Santa Fe, and that's when I had the idea to make him a rug. The rug I'm doing is of Doug's 1994 Audi RS2 Avant, and I've already been in contact with Doug to send this out to him once I am finished. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first thing we're going to do is head back out to my little supply closet and grab the yarn needed for this rug, as well as the tufting fabric. And as I said in my previous video, I usually purchase my yarn at Michael's since they have a lot of options and the yarn is rather inexpensive. Getting started on the fabric, like I said previously, I purchased all of my backing fabric from imakerugs.com since they do have the best price on the market and they have the highest quality fabric for tufting. Now I'll just line up the rug frame and grab my projector to get started on tracing the image. I found this image from a t-shirt that Doug was wearing in one of his videos, so I just cropped it and zoomed it in so that I can get the most detail as possible. Now the image is fully traced, we can get started. And these are the colors that I'll be using for this rug. As I'm sure you saw in my previous video, this is my weird method for getting my yarn to spool. I'll get an old toilet paper roll and spool the yarn onto it so that it feeds into the gun a lot easier. Now it's time to get started on tufting. And like I said before, I like to go one color at a time and work from there. I'd like to mention a few tips for beginner tufters that I mentioned in my first video. First is to make sure that you are always pressing firmly into the fabric so that the fabric does not tear. And you should always make sure that you are always moving the gun upwards because if you go downwards you will also tear the fabric. As you can see I am moving from side to side and diagonally but I'm always moving upwards and not downwards.
Now it's time to get started on the beloved blue of the RS2. As I finish filling in the blue, be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I plan on trying to do these rug videos at least once a week, so the support would mean a lot to me. Now that the tufting is all finished, I'll head back outside and grab my bucket of Robert's 3095 carpet adhesive that I got at the Home Depot. It's always best to get a generous amount on the back to ensure that everything is fixed in place and spread it out evenly. Sometimes when I do a rug earlier in the day, I'm able to let it dry throughout the day by pointing my fan at it. Usually the rug will be dry within a couple hours and I can get started on putting the backing on.
Since this is a smaller rug, I opted to use my smaller shaver to really get the details. I got this shaver from toughtheworld.com and it works great. I love the last part of this process, which is when I get to vacuum off all of the excess yarn and reveal what the rug really looks like. Here's the final product. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out my Instagram at dw.rugs where I post all of my work.